نصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم أما بعد فعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم The question is if somebody was to vomit during uh, fast will this invalidate the fast now uh, I think if it's broken down into two sections, one is able to um, understand the answer. Um, and that is if one was to vomit deliberately and if one uh, vomits uh, sort of not deliberately, so uh, accidentally if the vomit comes up or for whatever reason, natural reasons. Uh, but we'll start with the deliberate sort of vomiting. Um, now the ulama say in the, uh, in the Hanafi fixed, thick texts is where a person vomits deliberately if it is less than a mouthful then that will not invalidate the fast but where it is more than a mouthful or, or, or equivalent to a mouthful so equivalent to a mouthful or more than a mouthful that would invalidate the fast this is where somebody intentionally uh, um, irrespective of the reasons why somebody would do that but uh, but the, with the ulama they look at the actual masla itself and that is if somebody intentionally uh, sort of causes themselves to vomit up to a mouthful that would in fact invalidate the fast they would need to make qadha uh, of that fast but no sort of expiatory payment uh, would be due from them just the qadha itself now um, and the, the, the second issue is if somebody uh, vom vomits sort of due to natural causes involuntarily so to speak now where this happens um, you know whether it is less than a mouthful or equivalent to a mouthful or even more than a mouthful this would not break the fast because it's, because it's a sort of unintentional act it's happened due to natural reasons now uh, the only time in this situation where the fast would actually break would be where uh, some vomit you know uh, came to the mouth or came to the point of the throat uh, let, let's say it was a small particle or there was a little bit of fluid which came and sort of got stuck at the top uh, or, or the back of the sort of uh, throat and if one was to uh, swallow it intentionally if you were to swallow it intentionally that would break the fast now it doesn't matter whether you've uh, you, know, you, you know sort of bought up that vomit intentionally or unintentionally if you were to swallow it and take it back down the throat that would in fact break the fast now uh, there is a proviso here and, and the ulama say that uh, for example uh, you know let's say you're in the masjid or uh, you, you're in the masjid and you know a small particle arises to throw uh, you know you, you throw up some uh, or you bring up some vomit um, and you're holding it in your mouth and uh, you, let's say you're running to go and expel and, and, and go and spit it out um, you, you know you're going towards uh, you, you know the wuzul khan or the toilet or something along those lines and involuntarily it goes back down you try to hold it but because it was so far back uh, at the back of the throat perhaps they went back down in this circumstance the ulama say because that's because you haven't swallowed intentionally and that's gone back down um, due to whatever reason out of your control that would not invalidate the fast but where you was to swallow intentionally so let's say you brought up some vomit uh, in your mouth whether it was intentional or unintentional uh, if you were to um, uh, swallow that intentionally to take it back down whether it's a little bit of liquid or even if it's a tiny particle itself if you swallow intentionally that will in fact break the fast and invalidate the fast so in the circumstance where vomit does come to your mouth uh, no matter how big or small you know one should expel it you know by uh, spitting a couple of times uh, in, you know in toilet uh, in the bin that kind of thing and and, and then the ulama say you know you should do gully to refresh the mouth and cleanse the mouth but again uh, you know with care uh, because you are fasting and the last thing you want is some water to go down uh, your throat which again would invalidate the fast uh, so one needs to take a regard uh, in the circumstance inshallah the disease wa ma'alayna illa al-bala wal-mubi